Hey, this is the DIY Magician, and we're here with music and sound effects. That's right, this is an ongoing series that we're going to have fun creating music and sound effects from everyday items. So hang tight and come on back for some fun. So this episode is maracas. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but we're going to go with it. Basically, it is uh, usually like some sort of hollow uh, object with a handle on it, and you shake it, and it makes a noise similar to this. Or this. And that's the thing. You can make maracas from anything. I chose to go to the Dollar Tree and get these little containers here and I put in this one, I put in rice. Now I happen to have my bag of rice and my supplies. I use duct tape and uh, rice. You uh, take a container and you open it. You pour in some rice. It's this simple. It really is. Just like that, just a little bit. Make sure you close the rice because if you tip it over, it's gonna get all over the place. And you attach the lid and there it is. Just like that, you can make your own sound effects, your own noise makers. Now what I like with this one is you can put anything in there. I chose rice, but you might choose salt. That's right. Salt could make a very similar sound, but it's a little softer. So we're going to try it with some salt this time. Just like that. Just get enough to fill about maybe a quarter inch on the bottom. Just like that. Put the lid on and of course, again, you'd want to put either duct tape, masking tape, scotch tape, some sort of tape, or if you're really fancy, you could put a bead of hot glue on there and just squish it right on and that would probably lock it up. But this is salt. You ready? It's a little softer sounding. It's almost like sand. Just like that. Now, you could use sand. Uh, I don't have sand with me, but that is a viable option. Uh, Dollar Tree actually has sand and rocks and things like that, and those all work. Uh, but what you don't want to use is something sugary. You don't want to use sugar. You don't want to use um, anything that would attract uh, bugs and things like that. So you don't want to use cereals or things like that. But you could use rice. You could use beans. You could use all sorts of things. In fact, you could use different kinds of rocks. That's right. As I mentioned, Dollar Tree sells rocks. Go figure. And here are some beach stones. Here are uh, some rocks that you might find in the bottom of a, an aquarium. And here's some more, uh, I guess those are river stones. But each one of these is going to make a different sound. So let's do this. Let's try the river stones. Let's just grab a few of these river stones and throw them in or pour them in. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm getting river stones all over my workspace. Okay. So this is the river stones. Let's listen to this. Pretty loud. Okay, let's pour these back and we're going to try the aquarium rocks. One last rock. We're going to try the aquarium stones just like this. And they had different colors, but again, it doesn't matter because it's going inside a sealed container. Okay, so let's pour these in. Just like that. Let's see how this sounds. 
Sounds the same to me. Whew, there's a lot of dust on that. Can you see that dust wafting off? All right, we're gonna make a mess there. And then of course now we've got the beach stones here. Just like this, we've got, we'll do a couple of them. There's one, two, they're rather large. Three, four, five. Okay, there we go. You ready? Wow. Just like that. You never know what you can do. In fact, you don't have to use rocks. You don't have to use stones. You don't even have to use salt and, and rice. In these canisters, you can do this. You can use plastic balls like these or hollow fruit that you'd get in a decorator area of your stores. And you can put items in it to make the sound effects as well. In fact, I used our favorite rock, uh, not the rocks, pardon me, the uh, salt and the rice. In fact, this is the best way and I've, I've marked them. What I did was I took a pair of scissors and on these uh, balls, there's a little hole for the mold. You just take it and, and carve out a nice little, little hole about the diameter of your uh, scissors. Then you make a paper funnel and set it in there and pour the salt or the rice in. And then you seal it up with a piece of tape. Now this one is the rice. Now listen to this. All right. This is about the same amount of salt. All right, can you hear the difference? I'm guessing rice is probably better for this particular thing. Now, but you'll also get a difference between a hard shell lemon with rice and more of a, a, a rubberized orange. They both have rice, but you'll never know which one is which. Because, well, you will because the uh, this one is softer and it won't make that sound that you get from that. Okay. Now, what I did on this was I did the same thing and I, I burrowed out a hole, but this one I put hot glue on the end so it seals off the end. This one I put hot glue on the bottom of the orange there, and you've got your shakers. Just like a maraca you'd buy in the store, you can make it for much, much less. In fact, these come in a package of three from the Dollar Tree, so you spend a dollar on this, and the bag of rice is a dollar as well. So for two dollars, you can actually make three of the shakers just like this. And that's always fun. Let's come back and see all the things that we did together and we'll wrap this whole thing up. So here it is. We have lemons, we have oranges, we have softballs, and we have tin can shakers. That one sounds like a rattlesnake to me. Or the maraca. So those are the fun things you can do. And again, the imagination is what you need to use because it only limits what you do. Because anything that you can hollow out and put something in, you can make a maraca or a shaker. So get out and be creative. And tell me how, you, how you're doing. Let me see those. S send pictures and we'll have fun together. Again, this is the DIY Magician. Until next time.